Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? This is Steve Totillo. He's out there looking at Tournament of Legends. Like, where's the excitement, man? He just, he just looked kind of bored right there, son. The game is fire. Y'all saw my reaction. Look at this dude. No, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Steve Totillo is my homeboy, man. Like, that's my dog. I got mad love for Steve Totillo. But look, now there's some hot stuff going on on stream. Trust me, I know because I played the game already. And look at him, bro. You just look bored right there, like. Right? You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Look at this, man. Where's the passion at, son? They're not competitive. Where's the look? He's holding his notebook. Look at the, he's not even. Look at this, man. He's not even. Look at this. He don't even look like he's like he wants to play, man. No, this is the, this is the problem in game journalism today. Kotaku.com, much love to y'all, but come on, man. These guys work hard. Show that you care about what they do. This, he ain't even say nothing. Look at this shit. This is crazy right here. He got his little notepad. Put a video camera at. Look at this, man. It's crazy. Alright, well, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick that this is this is what I go through in the industry. People be hating on hip hop gaming, but yet the people in top websites and stuff like that just be like whatever. I don't mean you gotta jump around and do a backflip, but damn, show some sort of like emotion like, to to what the hell. Like, look at this. It's probably been like two or three minutes. In the first second when I put my hands on that game, I was blown away. And, and you guys gonna see it soon. This is a brand new game announcement. It's crazy. Where's the passion? That's the title of this joint right now. Son. <laughs> This dude, like, he about to go to sleep, son. Look how many times he's blinking his eye. <laughs> oh, man, son. Yo, I think Steve Totillo lost the hair just now, son. That's what I'm playing. Nah, but anyway, one love to my man Steve Totillo. This is my dog. I'm just messing with him. I could do that. All right, your boy Hip Hop Gamer over and out. Yo, Steve Totillo. Yo, keep doing your thing, son. Peace. Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm with a very highly important human. Why? Because there's a game called Tournament of Legends that is about to come out. And it's going to, like, really shit on a lot of other games because this game is that good exclusively on the Wii. Now, let me ask you a question, dog. Check this out. Steve Totillo was over there, right? He's showing the game. Well, like... What's wrong with the, you know, passion for gamers these days, man? Do they get jobs and forget their heart? Because the game, when you showed it to me, I went crazy because you know how amazing that is. I saw you showing it to him. He's just up there like, mm, he's basically doing this, like, mm, <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. Like, you know, like, how, how do you guys feel about that when you work so hard and you want people to get excited and then you kind of don't get the reaction you expected? Um, geez, well, first off, I hope Terminator of Legends shows better because there's a lot more passion in this game than in past high voltage games. But I think to answer your question, a lot of licensors, a lot of, a lot of developers work on licensed games or games that are derivative of some type of license. There's a lot of restrictions involved in developing a licensed game. So a lot of times developers are doing their best to create new stuff within restrictions. So I think okay. all developers out there, and this is a shout out to every developer, every guy that's sitting behind his PC or a guy that's sitting programming right now, 
now wants yeah. to make a great game. They want to make the best thing they can, but yeah. they can only do as much as they can do. So the thing is, at High Voltage right now, we have an opportunity to make creative, original, unique titles. Yeah. So what we've decided as a studio is that we want to put as much energy into our games as possible because we know the gamer will benefit from okay. that in the end. Now, I agree, and I think you guys did a hell of a job. But, like, the main point I wanted to, like, kind of, like, get from you to see what you think is, like, when, a, like, other journalists come up and they see a game and they're like, oh, okay, like, you know, knowing that the game is fire, like, knowing that the game is hot, and someone like, you know, Steve Tatillo, that's my dog, that's my homie, but seeing him over there, he's just up to, like, wasn't really kind of excited about the game, I was like, what the hell? you like you know what I'm saying but how do you feel about that when you see like journalists like him or other journalists that don't really have a you know reaction at all I mean whether good or bad I'm talking about just no reaction at all it's like to me I feel like you know passion is a part of reaction right. and when you don't get that it's like what's wrong so how do you feel about journalists like you know cause I know you interview a lot of people a lot of people you know come up and interview you or whatever so how do you feel about journalists that you know come up and kind of just have no real passion anymore uh, I think really that's kind of their deal, man. Like, and whatever it is in life that's led them to a point where they're not as enthusiastic about games anymore. Oh, I mean, okay. really? Then maybe they should think about something else, or they, maybe they should mm. just go on to the game that they really want to review. And maybe our game just wasn't their style of game. And, oh. But really, we know there's going to be people out there that like the style of game that we're making. Those are the kind of people that we're, we're hoping to show it to. And you, you've been the best because you've loved it. <laughs> you've been super enthusiastic, and it's, it's really been exciting for us. And I guess guarantee the team is going to love to hear your your feedback. Oh, shit. Wait till you see how you... Man, you already know Hip Hop Gaming going to hold it down. Right. It's just that the reason why I did that because I see a lot of major companies like the IGNs, the Kotakus is here today and everything. And when I see that, in my mind, it's like, yeah, you may not like every game, but I'm going to be honest. If there's a game I don't like or whatever, then I, I just won't even go over there because right. I'm not going to represent it properly and I don't want to give anyone a bad name. Right. But if you take time out to go over there and like check it out and stuff like that and you doing coverage on it, and so like that whether it's a good reaction or a bad reaction at least a, a reaction need, is needed like to show some sort of passion because a lot of people can have a passion for a game and if they don't like something they're going to be passionate, passionate enough to be like hey you should do this hey you should do that and or they passionate enough and they love it so much that they're going to praise you but when you have nothing to say you just go there like okay this does this this does that and then just leave it's like you're like a robot instead of having your own mind and, and I just want to personally tell you that I think you guys are doing a hell of a job and if the major sites don't want to support y'all then fuck them because hip hop game is gonna support you, and I got a voice now, and we are gonna take care of you, and we are gonna make sure your shit is successful. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, man. Thanks, hip hop gamer. You're the best. All day, baby. Peace. Right on.